this is the new camper hollow and uh, that's our back deck and uh, we got an area under the house which is my nice put a few things and go right into the basement from there this line is uh, to divert the water away from the downspout and that's going to be buried uh, the basement was flooding we got big fans down there trying to dry that basement it goes down to the creek and that's going to be buried and will drain right into the creek here and uh, <coughs> my wife and I are thinking next year to have Sukkot right here at Camper Hollow <coughs> and uh, the upper part of that it doesn't seem like it would be real good for pitching tents because it's more on a hill we may uh, put plant a garden up there and uh, this bridge is a little bit shaky we had the grass cut and the guy drove his tractor over there but I don't know if I'd want to trusted an awful lot <coughs> but uh, this would be a good area right here <coughs> for pitching a few tents staying out here <coughs> and uh, I'd walk back here a little bit I haven't walked right up there I want to set up a place to shoot my rifle here set up targets right here you know before the hill goes up <coughs> and uh, so this is a good spot you know nothing around here there's a uh, like somebody had a fire pit here before <coughs> and uh, there's some logs laying there I could probably bring the chainsaw back cut some of those up for firewood who knows what's been burnt back here and uh, but that looks like it's been here for a good while I may uh, clean that up a little bit It'd be a good spot for Fires. This grass was caught not too long ago and it's growing pretty good again already and uh, the whole back part was cut. <clears throat> I don't know what this is down in the middle. It's a tree looks like. Looks like they dropped a tree <clears throat> and it was never cut. Laying down in there. It was way back there. I don't know where they dropped it from. It was over there, back down. Maybe it may have been back down this way. But, uh, I'll have to get some leverage under that and lift that up. Get the chainsaw fired up and get this stuff caught. We could have a lot of firewood here. And, uh, there's the back of the house. We got a nice deck across the back there. Three bedroom ranch. <coughs> and uh yeah. I could start with this one with that log sticking up here. Nice thing is, you know, houses aren't real close out here in the country. And yeah. So that's been sitting there for a while. I don't have to worry about waiting for that stuff to dry. It's like a little ledge it goes along here. And, uh, this drops down a bit. I was told that some people who lived here before had this all planted with food, growing food out here. And, uh, I think my wife and I could grow enough food to live on. I watched some videos of people in the city growing food in their backyard and earning a full-time living off it. So I've talked to my wife about the possibility of homesteading and so we're going to look into that. There, there goes the squirrel in the back there along the fence line. There he goes. I don't know if you can see him there. Some wood laying on the ground back here. Eventually, I'd hope to get a tractor. And, uh, I mean, this isn't real wide. There's a shed there to the right. I don't know if you can see it, sunshine. The lot line runs just behind that shed over there. So it's 
it's still big enough. And I mean, this is an acre of land. So, it's pretty nice. Back up there, it's just up the hills. You know, we're not in the big mountains, but this is pretty hilly out here. Now there's some wood cut up here. I gotta see which lot it's on. It could be ours, I don't know. And uh, see where it, where it sets. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's mine. There's the there's the lot line right there. I'm guessing anyway. That little stake in the ground, the rope tied on it. That's the marker. So that stuff over there is the neighbors. They have to come through here and do a clean up. I don't know what that thing is. And, uh, yeah, we got wasps and stuff here, so I'm not gonna kick that and irritate the wasps. Yeah, limbs hanging from here. I can pull down that tree's on our lot anyway. It doesn't look real healthy. It's got leaves on it, so it's still alive. Of course, this is autumn, so some of the trees and it's still look pretty nice out there. Back where I live, a lot of leaves would be yellow already. There's some maybe up there, but not a lot here yet in the south. We're not deep south, but everything is still pretty green. It was, I think, around 70 today anyway. It's cooling down a bit. Now I've been working out front, <coughs> working on the flower beds. Nobody had taken care of them for a long time, and they were just in really bad condition. <coughs> and uh, so I bought a ton of mulch. Fortunately, this time of year, there's clearance on that stuff. And I was getting these huge bags for a little over $2 a bag. And I'm trying to think what I got. I stopped and got four. Someone needed a lot more than that. And I went back and got eight more. And I thought, I probably need more than that, but that'll be enough this fall to put down unless I figure I need more to do but this is, this is a nice chunk of land I'm gonna have to get the weed whacker going and get into places like this and knock this brush down the guy that cut the grass didn't do anything with that just let it go like that but uh, this is weeds growing up in there now if I can get in there with the chainsaw, start whacking away at this stuff, I'll get that cleared up. And uh, I don't know what this post is for. Obviously, it's not a tree. <laughs> Say a six by six. It's it's planted in there. It's pretty pretty rugged, so there must have been a purpose for it. So. It looks like a piece of hardwood. And, uh, screws coming out of it, screwed to it, screws coming out of it. So I don't know what that was for. But, uh, <clears throat> could be a good rifle ranger just for a pellet gun, you know, nothing high powered it and just it would just go up around that tree so when all the land is above it there it wouldn't go further than that everything is uphill here so that's kind of nice <coughs> now i'm look this side the creek this i see some white pipes coming out there and get closer but that could be drainage for the gutters on the house and uh we do with that one neighbor there. I haven't met him yet. Uh, who lived here before had kids. Let me see. A, there's a truck. A little plastic truck down there in the dirt. <laughs> well, you know, probably that duplicates a four wheel drive off off road truck. And when the kids rolled it down there and they moved and forgot about it. But there's. Uh, 
Dad being PVC pipe. Yeah, there's some kind of drainage. And there's a another black plastic pipe coming out of there. So that could be for gutters, that other one could be just for drainage for the house. Now they had septic taken here somewhere, so that could be going to the septic. I don't know. But there's city sewer now. I think they must have had it. Somehow they must have had it switched over from what I understand. But that one, they got that going. Looks like they got it going way out there. I thought it stopped. Just down in the truck there. But that won't drain fully. It's going a little uphill. Right there. So looks like a big long snake there. And a little part here under there, but be a nice place to sit up there <clears throat> with the view in the back. So I'm happy about this. The new camper hollow. And it's right in my backyard. And one of the things my wife and I had talked about, because I had camped during Thanksgiving when I was back in New York State. And uh, of course it was much colder up there. Well, we're talking about pitching the tent out there for Thanksgiving this year. Yeah, it's going to be cold here, but not as bad as New York. And uh, get that set up. We're going to have family over for Thanksgiving and uh, do a tent set up so her dad can see this. His son has seen my tent set up. He came out with, with us for a little bit to Sukkot and then left. We came back here. Uh, because of some unforeseen circumstances. So next year we're making some changes and uh, working on having Sukkot here. <coughs> and uh, so this is pretty nice. I'm very happy about this. So we're looking forward to, I, I may pretty soon, uh, well, I'm thinking, you know, Thanksgiving isn't too far away. <coughs> so I may get the tent and equipment out there and start pitching that somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to do it over that side. I'm thinking I might maybe somewhere around this end or something. It's a little flatter down here because you see that hill goes way up and that's why this goes up too. And uh, if I set a target right about there, just, you know, for pellet gun target, you know, it's going to just stop right there. It's not going far. And, uh, of course, I won't, I won't be able to shoot with the tents there. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, you know, it's getting close to sunset here. What time I got? Oh, about half hour or so, 20 or 40 minutes maybe. And uh, it's just beautiful out here. I just, I love living in the country like this. And uh, <clears throat> so I plan on doing more. And uh, once we set the tents up again, out there and show what we do and we may like I say you know when we do Sukkot out here you know we're going to invite some of our good friends over and uh, you know we won't have the reoccurrence we did this year of course and uh, you know, in two year two years ago in New York State I hosted Sukkot and it was a very good time for all of us and uh, you know some of these places you go to you know, they don't want to do things biblically, but, um, you know, when you get just a few humble people together who are servants and want to do things biblically, you can have a real good time, real good turnout for Sukkot and better quality people. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out here working on the front of the house. I had gone, I picked up four bags of mulch before and started working on that section. Nobody had done anything with this flower bed in ages. And I went and picked up eight more bags. And uh, this is what it looked like. Just nobody had done anything to it in ages. And uh, these are all crooked and need to be built up. I've been digging these out and putting them back in better 
And there's a lot of overgrown grass between them and the sidewalk here. Cleaned all that up on both sides and filling that with mulch. Some of these people got hot rod mustangs around here. And uh, I'm getting this around the front. We got it down here a little bit. We got a lot down the side of the house. We got a big mess back there. I'll have to clean up too, but that's a little bit out of view. I'll get to that whenever I can. But that makes a huge difference, covers up all the weeds and everything. And uh, we got another section planted there I dug out that all this section there is going to have to be dug out. It's up too high. I'll get them down a little more, kind of like that. And uh, those are a little high, but I'm not going to worry about them. It's not going to be perfect anyway. I just got a... That one had busted right in there. You can see the crack probably. I just got to get some dirt packed in around that then. And I can keep working around here. I don't know. I don't have much. That section doesn't look like it would hardly fit in there. But if I have to, I can probably go down down the side of the house near the end. These windows had planters on them, but they were all busted. And I think the landlord must have taken, the, taken them out. And there's the plants that were in them. I don't know if we'll use them or not, but once I at least get this section up here, I'm gonna break this out, break this dirt over this way, and uh, start filling this section with mulch. So I'm starting to make some progress. Found me a nice shovel. That's a nice heavy duty shovel there I got. And a uh, small rake, I guess they call him a shrub rake or something. You can reach between them. Maybe. It worked real well in here. This was buried down in here. A little turtle, like on a log slab, it says welcome on it. looks kind of old because it's weathered. Uh, we got a big ant problem here, too. And a lot of them came out of here when they tore this up. So we got to get some stuff that will control them. I got this worked out, a lot of the weeds and stuff here, and uh, you know, taking a big pile of dirt there, some of that I'll use to fill this in, then I'll start getting some mulch down and start making it look a little prettier around the doorway anyway.